Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're looking at free supercharging and does it transfer if you sell your car or if you buy a car which has it and the differences between the SEO1 and the SEO5 codes. Before we dive into the detail, a little bit of the backstory. When Tesla launched the Model S, it came with free supercharging for all but a very few cars. This was obviously a great benefit to a lot of owners and still is. However, all good things come to an end and Tesla dropped the free supercharging program. They announced this at the end of 2016 with it coming into effect in early 2017. However, there was an almighty backlash from a lot of owners and they reintroduced it for the first owner with a referral code. There was some confusion at the time about whether this was for the lifetime of the owner or for the lifetime of ownership and it was only for the ownership of the car by the first owner. In other words, when the car is sold, the free supercharging ends on that car. There have been a couple of other variations on the theme. The referral miles added one or 5,000 miles for every person that you uh, referred, but that's now ended too. There have also been limited periods of either a one year free supercharging or a limited number of miles over three years, which was the offer that they introduced at the end of 2022 to help boost sales. You also still find the occasional Tesla listed with free supercharging on the Tesla website, although this is pretty rare now. So how can you tell whether a car has free supercharging? Well, you can log into your My Tesla account, manage cars, look at the details, and it will tell you whether it has free supercharging or not. However, this doesn't tell you whether it will transfer. If you log into your Tesla account, then visit our website, click on the link on the free supercharging page. It will actually give you some details on the option codes. And this is what's important to understand about the car. Here is SC04. So what do all these codes mean? Well, these are the different optional build codes that Tesla uses to distinguish between different features on the car. SC01 is free supercharging that transfers and SC05 is free supercharging that is only for the first owner and will not transfer. What do you do if you can't actually get hold of these access codes? Well, you can look in the car and the method used to be looking to see whether there was a price attached to the last supercharging session. If it was zero pounds, it usually meant it was not transferable. And if it said no recent supercharging sessions, then it used to be transferable. That's no longer a rule that we trust. And we think that even on transferable supercharging, it will say zero pounds. So unfortunately, there is no guaranteed way. So in summary, what we recommend is if you're looking for a private sale, get the seller to confirm the option code through my Tesla. If it's a dealer who's selling it and suggesting it has free supercharging, then you must make sure they'll put that in writing. Otherwise, we would suggest that don't, don't trust the advert. There's an extra twist to this story as well, and that is you used to be able to go off dates and anything that was delivered before March 2017 would likely have transferable supercharging. However, Tesla can remove that, so you can't rely on that date either. But what is for sure is any car delivered after April 2017 will not have transferable supercharging.